We stay so incredibly busy here. Not me. I stay hidden in a little corner until they let me back out to do these videos with you all. But in between then, we release so many products to help teams compete at competitions. We want you to be able to practice and improve your robots and creations around the year. One of these things are swerve drives. You may have already seen them on our website and rumor has it, many of you already know about this amazing thing, but it's so amazing. We're gonna talk about it again and in detail now so everybody knows about the swerve drive specialties. And to talk about them, welcome Peyton. Peyton, how do I swerve drive? Well, I'm here to tell you. What you do is you buy one of our really, really cool products called the Mark IV. So this is a swervy boy known as the Mark IV. And some teams may have seen this before. In fact, there's been a couple of other Mark revisions before it. So this one is uh, tried and true. I kind of want to stare at it for a while. It's a lot of really nicely machined parts. Are there variations to this? Oh, for sure. Another model we carry is the Mark IV-I. I would love to learn about this. So this one's kind of neat because it sits in the corner of a chassis. And so it provides a really strong, robust connection on the corner, moving the module way out farther and giving you a bigger drive base. So that is intended to be a part of the frame? Oh, for sure. That's where these components would sit. So this one is like anywhere in the robot. Yeah, for the most part, you'd want them closer to the corners, but yeah, for sure. That one definitely would sit on top of your frame. Oh, that one is the frame. This one's on top of the frame. So this is not a brand new, never before tested product. This is already been used, right? Oh, for sure. And one of the things about these is the great team from the Pacific Northwest 2910 has used a version of these modules for pretty much the last like five years. That's awesome. It's good to know that like the wonderful folks at home aren't taking some sort of risk by using these modules. They've already proven they're a fantastic choice for drivetrain. They really are. And that's one of those things that's it's like a hot commodity. Everybody wants one of these right now. These are fantastic. Is there anything special that the folks at home need to know about these? Is there any like, oh, we've got to make sure you, you get the right lock tight or so. like, was there any special things that happen with these modules? So one thing about the Mark IV I is generally the motor mounts from underneath. So the shaft, if it's one of the longer shaft versions, uh, stick out past the top. Okay. On the one you're holding, the Mark IV, uh, because the motor's not from the top, teams may find, oh, my stock shaft might be a little long. We've got a solution for that. Oh, you have to be worried about like the shaft interfering with something? Yeah. So we came out with these motor spacers that fit on the top of a Mark IV I, spacing your motor out, allowing you to keep your shafts unaltered. That's awesome. Boop. Boop. Indeed it is. Does having to machine like a motor shaft or something like that is really scary. Yeah, it's definitely tedious and teams probably want to keep their stuff as off the shelf as possible for some of the things they want to keep using from year to year. There's a lot of things that can go wrong with modifying a motor. So a simple little spacer is a much safer and easier way to make things fit. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Beautiful. Just you like just you. Look at it. <laughs> Would you just look at it? Well, this is fantastic. I know not everybody may have realized that we've already been carrying these, but with build season just around the corner, and the, the hard decisions everyone has to make about choosing a drivetrain, here's an option, several options, tried, true, tested, and terrific. Thanks, Peyton. For sure. Thanks awesome. for showing. Thanks for having me. I'm gonna have you uh, leave with that because I, I don't wanna hold it anymore. Well, I want these all to myself. <laughs> I can't blame you. Take care, Peyton. Bye.